Yo, this is Jacob. Welcome to our Airbnb crib. We're here where people wouldn't think we would be here. But we're here in Mexico City, Polanco, where the water runs like wine and the coffee smells like four leaf clovers. And uh, welcome to the kitchen. Notice the audio. It's a lot more bass because we are in a tight space. And uh, what? I didn't know we had a restroom. Let's check it out. But notice the sound in this area. It's a lot more bass because we in a tight space. Sorry. Oh, that's very nice. Dang. Very high ceiling. When we were in the airport, the ceiling went up to here. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to live. But look, a lot of space. A lot more space. Because we need a tight space. First Airbnb experience. Pretty crazy. It's probably bigger than uh, Alex and I's first apartment. Oh man, look at that, that's so cool. Check it out. Welcome to Cribs Airbnb status. That was me falling in the corner couch. Check this out. Air humidifier, just in case you have trouble breathing. Classy. Where did they get these light bulbs? Thomas Edison store? I like it. As you can see, we got a Picasso hanging up. Nice, a lot more base. Alex pointed out in the very beginning of our stay, look, they got a router. Actually, Alex didn't say that. She said, look, there's a closet, which is impressive but we didn't pack like we were staying here for long. So there's a lot of space in that place because there's going to be a lot tight space. That was awesome. That that guy is like a runner. A little bit of cabinets. If I wanted to read some Spanish books, like the encyclopedia, I have that option. They actually have little things of shampoo. Alex is saying they got shampoo. And pictures of the grandfather. <laughs> Classy. Let's see what's going on under the lamps. Nice. Water. Let me give you a sense of how it smells. It's like the water has chlorine coming out of it. Oh, no, that's the smell that I got too. Very, very smelly. But they have a, I mean, I don't think I'll use it, but they, but they have a, they have hair dryer. Air dryer. Base. Shampoo. Shampoo. Tight Water. space. Let's check out this banyo that was being hogged up. Nice. Bigger than what we had in our first apartment. <laughs> and then it looks like they got a little... Just in case. Oh, they got they locked okay, this. Locked. They were locked. like, no, this is not for you. That's on lockdown. Check out this light that's in the doorway. Bop! Just in case it gets dark outside. Tissues. When you're sad. Tissues for your tissues. This is the tissues that you use when you didn't convert your money before you got to Mexico. Complimentary tissues for your high exchange rate. We got a mirror. Base. What'd you order? I ordered the zucchini roll and a juice called chlorophyll. 
I was tempted to get a coffee, but I was like, no, I shouldn't. Oh. This is a restaurant Alex decided on. She watched a couple vlogs. Well, actually, this one was just featured in one vlog, but I did watch a couple. Yeah. We got our boy Antonio. Where's Antonio? And th he used to be a car salesman. I know he used to. He used to be a car salesman. I think I would have been able to decide sooner, but like, I just felt... Pressure. Yeah, and it's like, I was like, talking. I feel like he was a listening to me, so I was like... What did you do? Oh, no, you got the more. I got the more. And then I got the juice. Mm -hmm. Now that juice that you got was really good. So I'm gonna take a sip. Mmm. And you got the zucchini roll. I'm gonna have a bite of that. Okay. It's the next day. We watched the Brothers Grimace on Netflix last night. Very funny. Learned that elephants can have sex for up to three hours. I uh, kind of called it in pretty early last night because, uh, I don't know, we just didn't want to go out. Alex is kind of upset with me because I went running without her. But she was sleeping. I've always learned you don't wake a woman up when she's sleeping. But uh, today we got on the books. We're gonna go get some coffee, some breakfast, uh, go to a museum, go to Frida Colon's house or whatever. I don't even know how to say her name. And then, I don't know, just play by ear. So this is our patio. Morning patio is very nice. Um, that's where they live, up there, do their work. And it's a very beautiful home. Yeah, very, very happy with uh, our, our choice. What's up, big guy? All right. And they made us- We're in the Carlos Slim. Well, it's the museum for his deceased wife, but it's his foundation that created the museum. Richest man in Mexico. And at least top five in the world. Yeah, we, this building is freaking huge. I saw that it got like a Guinness World Record or something. Like the building. So we're just gonna walk around and film stuff. This is uh, a door to hell. Um, you notice? Oh, look, that's what it's called. La Puerta de Infierno. The gates of hell. I know. I just looked at it and I was like, I know what this is. I took a humanities wow. course. We're slowly finding out that I don't belong here. Why do you say that? I don't know any of this stuff. This one guy was looking over at this Jesus thing. And the first thing that I noticed was, man, look at his knees. Jesus, they beat the shit out of him. Man. Jesus. That's pretty morbid. But then we're... Where we're at right now is that the, they got a bunch of currency. Does it look good or is it very zoomed in? It's very zoomed in. So it looks good. <laughs> oh. right. So where we're at right now, how's that look? If I do a little bit farther. Yeah, good. Oh, good. Yeah. We, uh, 
we are in a part of the museum where there is money that is very old. There's goblets of fire from Harry Potter. They got Harry Potter memorabilia here. I like it. Kind of mixing the Jesus and the magic, which is very magical. And then they have a uh, painting, which I at first thought my grandma's stitching of Mother Teresa, but it is actually a lot more complex than a stitching. Because if you look into it, oh my gosh. Look at that, that is so crazy. Look at the detail on that. Alex, who is not a uh, art major, mm -mm. was able to pinpoint though. Looks probably oil. Looks oily. Probably. So I think it was oil. <laughs> Town jokester. That's St. Francis. He's the patron saint of animals. So we like him. Because he just wants peace and goodness and well-being for them. He watches over them. And we should too. I agree. <laughs> but I think he's got a couple jokes. <laughs> he's got to have a couple jokes. And everybody knows this guy. The guy who invented the letter T. Must be how... This is the museum on the wow. outside. Made by Bulgari. That's Who's Bulgari? They're like one of the most high-end, expensive jewelry makers. Let's get down to business. Mulan exists. Why'd they send me daughters? When I asked for some. You're the saddest piece of shit I've seen. So pack up, you're full of crap. <laughs> Here we are on the third floor where they got three angels, which I'm very familiar with because I took a class one time. What do you say? I know these guys, they're the three angels. Well, Alex Black is you. looking about the cat in hell photo. I'm admiring the three angels. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this. And it just keeps getting higher and higher. This guy's like, I like my cane, but I also like my basil. Cane and basil. Cane and basil. Oh. It happens to be called the Saint Cain and Basil guy. Just kidding. Uh, this is the Last Supper right here. Wow. It looks like they're eating dog for the Last Supper. That ain't right. This guy brought a carrot, but he's like. And then look, this guy on the far left is like, dude, are we really going to split a dog? He's like. Does anybody see this yeah, shit? Like, the guy with the big forehead's like, I'll eat the dog. Jesus is like, whoa, hold on, big forehead. You'll get a piece of the dog. But yeah, very, very nice. I feel like this is like very nice artwork. Very nice. The best. This guy is clearly an old man going, how long do I have to sit here for? We're over here. Rocking Japanese denim. Oh man. <laughs> so, we just, uh, just went. Oh my god, it makes me shake. Like, look at up that. Oh my gosh. That museum is huge. It's like five layers. I made it to Frida Carla's house. And we're here getting some, some coconut water and some coconut meat. 50 pesos. He didn't want to do it for 20 pesos. 20 pesos. Here for 20 pesos, no. No, 50. 50 pesos. 
Love you Frida's. Take a video. You should, okay, I was like, take a video. There's Love Frida's. Very colorful. She's a. She was a very special mind. Yeah, she she seemed like she was into science, art, poetry, photography. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was literature. Very no, very notable Mexican figure. That's for sure. Uh, we had to wait about an Maybe hour. Like an hour, yeah. But yeah. it went by so quickly because we were talking to some strangers who we're talking with turned Paul. out to be from California. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, they were missionaries. And they told us about a churro place. That churro place. El Moro. Yeah. El Moro. El, El Moro. And that's right up your alley. That's right. And I got this awesome tote bag, which toadies. It's bag. weird that they're selling toady bags. Well, well, okay. Well, this one's awesome, but I got another awesome tote bag with free with Frida Kahlo, and it's purple, my favorite color. Yeah. I was gonna go towards black because I always get black, but I'm like, let me branch out, be a little different. I got a magnet. Yes. And then I got us a mug, so you know. And then I got Joanna a button because she like wears this jean jacket of hers and has all these buttons. Uh -huh. So I got her a button. And then I got a Joanna a keychain. A little watermelon one. That says Frida Kahlo. Mmm. Yeah. And then here are the amigos. Here are the amigos. That take uh, coconut. Coconut. Coconut amigos. Um, that coconut water. Yeah. I was got, so impressed with it. We got coconut water. Now the meat, not too much of a, of a fan. I'm not a maybe big fan. if I refrigerate it and it's cold, maybe better. But what part of town are we in? We are in, in Coyoacan. Coyoacan. Yes. And, uh, and we were told that this is more of like the heart yeah, of Mexico like this City. Is real yeah, we, we are in the phony part of Mexico City where uh, there's the Saks Fifth and Avenue. And a Sears and a Chili's. Um, yeah, just walking by. <sighs> and then I think we're gonna get some food. Uh, and I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah, we were told to do some castle thing. So maybe we can fit the castle and thing after we get some food. I don't know how late it's open for. But that is near Chapo Tupac. Chapo Tupac, which is on the way to Palang. I think so. Is it OP? Oh, yeah. Well, there's so much stuff. Yeah, like I'm just like. Ah. Um, well, I, I mean, like, I'm on the look for something for the apartment. Like, you know. De nada. And we just went down the block. You see, we, <laughs> and you we're see in a, what I mean? We're in the middle of the midst of it. Where are you filming? No se pueden tomar. Oh, oh, okay. No, we can't film. Oh. Alex wants to get a fruit cup. I do. Is that hard to find? Here we are at Tihuatihuacan. This is Coyoacan. Coyotes. We're in Coyote. And we're in the park. We're in the park. And Jacob just had a churro with cajeta. For 50 cents. It's a great deal. And then a woman just got me on a shirt. She said, it's 400 pesos. But then the guy down the road was like, it's 20, 200 pesos. Oh, 
hole in the wall cafe place that's by a Catholic church that has uh, tarot card readings on the outside of it. Uh, just kind of ended up here. It's very nice. Uh, got a big old plaza. I am one for calling it a day and going to watch Netflix. Alex, on the other hand, look at how much energy yeah. she has. Um, I'm like, so where's our next thing? Next activity. <laughs> All right. Day two, Mexico City. And we're waking up, going to Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan. And then uh, we're going to do some luchador stuff. It's probably about 6.40 in the morning. I just want to highlight my socks. <laughs> I am the adventurer. Well, I wasn't gonna wear socks, so it was because you spoke up. Just so. That's right. So, uh. Yeah, so, if, you, if you're. If you feel like. you have some feelings about it, then. Probably just should have kept them out of the shop. I don't even think there's a microphone that can <laughs> capture. That audio that you just spoke. All they see is. No. I need you for Spanish, not sign language. <laughs> Alex has done a phenomenal job communicating in Spanish. It has uh, made both of our lives a lot easier, the fact that she knows it. Yo hablo espanol? No habla espanol. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I got three tacos and a drink for $2.50. Pretty amazing. Um, we're at the Italian Coffee Company, uh, strangely, for the word Mexico. Um, coffee's good. Burned my tongue for just a little bit. Mm. And uh, we're with the rest of our Airbnb peeps uh, taking a little break. Right. Here's the group. And there's our uh, host. Um, Dave. <laughs> well, our host. So far, he seems awesome. Very awesome. He, he told us his scary story to he prevent us from us going to the uh, Apocopo. So, I don't, want, I don't want to go there anymore. You don't want to drive there? No, I just don't want to go there. <laughs> Period. So, no, but he said that. Like, he was like, forget it. He was like, X it out. Don't go there. So, okay. Yeah, so I'd rather go to Cozumel or Playa del Carmen or Puerto Vallarta. Mm. So, those places I want to go to. What was it? so we went to Starbucks today? We went to Starbucks. What was, so instead of the pikes, what did they have? They had the Chiapas. Chiapas. That was the roast. Uh, that was good. That was really good. She thought it was really good. I thought well, it was good. Well, for me, like comparatively, because I think uh, Pike's place sucks. It's the worst. It just tastes like burnt. And yeah, so if I know that that's the only roast that they have, I refuse to get coffee. Like I would rather go without coffee than get But that was not the case today. It's just like in New Jersey. Good times. Good times. <laughs> Good times. Just got to the pyramids. Just got to Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan. And if you lose your ticket, he's got to run back. Yeah. So. And Don't want to be making our host friend. Uh, Mom, friends. do you have the biscotti that... And then we got oh, some hats today. for sale. Oh, can we grab some? Let's go. Let me look at the hats. <laughs> the center part is where you do the event. Take pictures. It's the time for you guys. Mm -hmm. It's up there. I, I oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, we're over here at part three. <laughs> or of seven. Yes, we're at the temple of the sun god. 
We just went Which was board. actually given the name by the Aztecs. But originally, this was meant for, for the, the god of the storms. Or the, or the storm god. <sighs> yeah. Well. And something that I learned that I didn't even know was that the name, so Teotihuacan, is like the Aztec name. So we don't even know what the original peoples called it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just thinking about these stairs. <laughs> This, I'm I'm very scared of He did a great job. He did a great job. <laughs> but I'm going you to the top of that hill. You scaled those like it. a champ. Okay. Thank you. Okay. This is the temple of the sun god. And then behind me, right there. Such an experience. Yeah, I feel very blessed to be here. There's lots of good energy. Okay. I think we just made it to the peak, hopefully. Okay, all right, she wants to go up there. Hold this. Oh. 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 Do you have a... Do you want a picture? At the, the top. top? Yeah, sure. I can oh. take it for you. Take it oh like my God. Yeah. <laughs> this is a memorable day. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> All right, we made it to the top. Is this a video? This is a video. We're at the top. At the top. Teo, 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 hold on, put your hands up. That was good. There you go. Teo Tiwakan. Oh my God. How do you feel? Yeah. Elevation's not getting you? No. No. Which is strange. Like, I, I mean, I feel like I'm breathing normal. I don't feel sick. Um, I'm enjoying all the sun. I'm enjoying and very grateful that we have this opportunity to be up here because, I mean, this is a privilege. Um, and I feel. I'm very humble that we can experience this. Built from like an amazing civilization. Um, and it, Look at these crazy yeah. people with their feet off the rail. But a uh, bunch of locos. Oh my god. Oh. Look at this dog taking a nap. I feel you. In the right place. And then look at the, all right. So now it's the video. Look at that hill, man. That is so intense. Our whole group climbed that. Yeah. Oh my god. And the, and then the part that it cuts off. That's like. Three quarters of the way, there's yeah, it gets there's steeper. A portion. Oh my god! We went up there. Yeah. yeah. You went up there. Like I went up there. Mm -hmm. Hi, mom. So how do you feel? Feel good? I'm glad I did it. Just got done with Teotihuacan. And, and now we gotta look for more pesos because I just spent all of them. Because the family had provided us lunch. So. And, yeah, and we didn't know about that. So. It was an unexpected but well worth cost. We found on Airbnb. You see, Wego, Ego. What? What's this guy's name? Wego, Ego, Ugo. Ugo. You see Ugo's Airbnb thing with his family. That's the one to do. But I think his brother's name is Manuel. I think. Manuel. 
Yeah, but uh, here we are, second floor, getting some pesos. We're at the mall. We're at Reforma 222. Yeah. Where dreams are made of. Well, my night. So we got back from <laughs> we got back from Teotihuacan, and then we got back to the Airbnb super quick. And then we went to go to three different taco stands, which basically was an all-you-can-eat event. Alright. Yeah, so lots of good food. And Jacob tried guanabana for the first time. Oh, yeah. Which he was, which the idea got into his head because a stranger insisted that he sample his drink. Yeah. And, he and did, Alex was like, how do you know and that? How like, do you not how know do that? How do you not know that this guy doesn't have some something? And then he's like, "How does he know I don't have something?" But I knew he was offering it because he didn't want any more. He drank it. Even after. I saw it. Okay, it was empty. Okay. He was just was being wrong. friendly. Okay. What's What's your loot? We saw a couple of girls being luchadors. Do you think you could be yeah. a luchador? Oh yeah, I can take you. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, star girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shoot. Yeah, that's my name. I'm es I'm Estrella. Estrella? Is that what star girl is? Uh -huh. Well, star. Estrella. Estrella. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. and yeah. So we saw some luchadores and luchadoras. Oh. And. Uh, I want to put oh. mine on. I want to put mine on. Now he's going to convert into... Hold on, don't follow me around the corner. Okay, okay. He's going to convert into Jacobo, el luchador. Or what's going to be... <laughs> Whoa, what's going to be your name? Van uh, uh, Eyesight. Okay. I'm bad eyes. There you go. And there I'll you go. Go for mm. your legs when I think it's your arms. Uh oh. Ah. Yeah. So there we are. Luch <sighs> luchador and luchadora. Yeah. Do you have any last words? Yeah, I learned a lot in in uh, luching. You can't. In luching. <laughs> You can't punch, you can only slap. So yeah. there'd be a segment, like round two, mm -hmm. where they would just get up and have a slap fight. Uh -huh. They'd be like, hit me, and then hit him. And then mm -hmm. he'd be like, oh. And then yeah. they'd be like, come on, pussy. And then he'd get up and he'd slap him. And then they'd be like, oh. And that was a whole round two. It's fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Bad eyesight. Yeah. Oh no, Teotihuacan took the plate. Mm -hmm. The day was very fun. Day three. Day three. Sunday. It's a beautiful day. We're on our way to Mora Mora, and it's a vegan restaurant. Healthy. Healthy. What does it say? Healthy foods. Yeah. Hola. And the way that they uh, promote themselves is it's a health food place. So Jacob is a little hesitant. But it's, it's a beautiful day in Polanco, Mexico City. And then Alex, is, she got the translation. This is a, what do they call this thing again? What? This place? Uh, the Iron Palace. <laughs> this is the Iron Palace. Apparently it's like the nicest stores in all the world. Like the highest end of the highest end brand. All the stores are concentrated in this one. We haven't stepped foot in there. No. We ran out of pesos yesterday. 
So we had to go to the bank. Did you take I got some pesos. And uh, so got some more pesos at an ATM here. It only cost us three bucks. And uh, keep, keep in mind when it says 200 there, it's not $200, it's 200 pesos. So watch out for that double customer charge yeah. fee. So he got charged and then I felt bad saying I'm gonna do it. And, um, and I'll keep the charge too. <laughs> and regarding the luchador, we have talked about it. What we paid was like 50 bucks a person on this Airbnb trip, kind of like a Groupon thing where they take you to get food and then I they think max 20. take you there. We figured out our luchador tickets were seven bucks and then like tacos, you can get, you can get five of them for what, what was it like a dollar? Dollar and fifty yeah. five cents or something. Thirty five pesos, which is yeah, yeah, no, that guy had cheaper prices than the ones that we So, to. so if you come here, um, it, it's the great. Drink, it like we we realized the Teotihuacan trip, we needed transportation. It was great to have a guy, somebody that knew it, and then they had their family. They took us to their home for. Lunch yeah, is like very nice. Right. By his, by his and his so that was like worth that trip. But then, if you're going to do something like a touristy, like the luchador thing, save yourself the money because figured it'd be like 20 bucks for the same thing we got yesterday rather than 100. So, but you just gotta do it yourself. I got a juice. These are fresh pressed from Guadamora. This one is called the Solo Verde and it has celery, cucumber, spinach, aceto, I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming it's a green. Kale, romaine lettuce, lime, another type of lettuce, cilantro, parsley, uh, wheatgrass, ginger, and mint. Give it a go. How did you find out about this place? The internet. Oh. Yeah, so it actually, so specifically, um, it came out in one of those vlogs that I watched. Uh huh. And then, so there's this app, it's called Happy Cow. And it basically tells you, like, what, like, specifically restaurants are in your, air, in your area that are, like, vegetarian or vegan. And so I looked at that yesterday, um, and then this place like popped up too. So, and also like just like Google Maps, like I just searched like vegan restaurants, and this also came up. And it didn't, I didn't, it didn't dawn on me until last night that it's pretty close. Like we walked here. It took us five minutes. Like five minutes. Yeah, I didn't realize it was that close to us. So I was like, I'm gonna go. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Tesla dealerships over there somewhere. Definitely you see the different part of the neighborhood we're in, and then like right around the corner from where we're at, the, the Ferrari dealership. This is so like I I think what is the biggest problem is when we go to places that we both like. Yeah, this is really good. Um, I got this thing, um, but it's like. For me, it's easy to eat anywhere because it's all like greasy, oily, and it's on the street. I, I really enjoy it, but when we go downtown to like, like how we had to meet up a couple places to go there, like there, I mean, there was only coffee, and Alex would like have a tortilla, and a, a ver like the green sauce, just to try it. It wasn't even like a, a meal. She just wanted to see what how they made their tortillas and their salsas, so it, it makes me feel bad, but like in the nicer part of town, you could, See, there's like an effort to. Yeah. And then. Which, in a way, kind of sucks because. And then like, our receipt because, shows it too, cause because we're paying Austin, Texas prices. Yeah. So we wouldn't want to come here every day for every meal. No. no. It's just like a one-time thing to check it out. Like I, like, you know, I get to buy, spend my money on stupid shit, while she gets to spend her money on nice things. On good food. On good food. Yeah. So, this is good.
It's a little, it's like a little, a little restaurant. Did you try this? So, I'm eating a torta jimena. I don't know if it's called a jimena because of the ingredients or if that's just they call it because, you know, the vendors just call things, things. So, I didn't have Alex with me. Excuse me. Just laying down. So I had to go get stuff from the supermarket. And on the way, I got myself this torta. It looks like it has hot dogs, eggs, chicken, mustard, mayonnaise, avocado, tomato. It's very good. Got it for $2. So it is uh, Monday morning. I have a stomach flu. She's got stomach flu. Yeah. Probably because of me. No. But we are leaving this beautiful home. I'm kind of sad. She's sad. I'm ready to go home. That means bacteria. I miss her dog. Hey, what about our cat? She is a dog. Wakes up every True. day like a crackhead. True. So we miss our dogs. <laughs> so that's so that's what's making it okay that we're going home. Yes. We're gonna come home to our to our to our babies basically. Yeah. So we're gonna do one. You wanna do a walkthrough with the camera? Like we're we, we cleaned up. It's early in the morning. We, I know, I'm gonna wear them. Okay. I'm gonna do some Pepto Bismol. So Alex is good. So she doesn't poop in the Uber. But, you know, we cleaned it up. And uh, this probably had got a lot of attention. This room got a lot of attention this past 24 hours. But, uh, yeah, so, so we had a great time, Mexico City was awesome, um, Sunday was kind of like a relaxed day, so what we did on the Friday and Saturday, that was the bulk of our trip, and I would highly recommend coming to Mexico City, more time if you can, there's so much, so many yeah, things like you could do. And then do Teotihuacan while you can because they're closing down the pyramids. So you can't, like, so we were able to get to the top of the Sun Pyramid, which was given by the Aztecs. It wasn't necessarily, yeah. So we don't even know what the Teotihuacan was originally named it. We don't even know what they named their own town. Yeah. The Aztecs called it Teotihuacan. Which is, it, it's very awesome. Get a uh, tour guide if you can. It's if you do it through Airbnb, do it with Ugo and his brother. I don't know what their last name U is. Ugo and his brother. Look yes, up for but Ugo. They're, but they're a tag team brother. It's a family It's probably effort. the top listing. The best. The, it the was best. the best. It, it was really great. And then we, we did, did a, a home-cooked meal from oh. the mom. Authentic Mexican. Her guacamole is the best in town, and and I'm saying town as if it's a, uh, the world. It's yeah, so it's good. Yeah, it's a very small town where he lives. But yes, yeah, it, it it so a lot of fun. Um, we are getting ready to go.